All right. So, All right, so in this video, we're going to fire up uh, QGIS, connect to the database that we created earlier, and uh, create a map. So, under Applications, click Science, and then QGIS there. Give it a second to fire up. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to add a PostGIS layer. So you click on Layer, Add PostGIS Layer. We're going to create a new connection. I'm just going to call it Localhost. Local host, local host, database GIS user, username's GIS user, us user, and tell it to go ahead and save the username and password. Just simplify things in the future until we were able to connect to it. Hit OK. We're going to connect, and then we're going to be rewarded with a list of tables that we can connect to. Let me get back out of there. So the one that we're going to use is this public I don't know why that one's public units. We're going to add that. Alright. So here's our basic unit boundaries. There's no labels, the colors are kind of goofy. So on units you want to right click that and we're going to go to properties. First thing we're going to do is get rid of the background color. Because really we just want it clear. We're going to put none. All right. Next thing that we're going to do is change the outline color. So it looks like it's black, so I think that'll be okay. Now we're going to add labels. By default labels are disabled, so we're going to click that to enable it. Which field contains the labels? GMU ID. See, there's several areas in there, or several um, options to choose from, but I just know it's GMU ID. Okay, and then we're going to change the font size down to eight, I think, just to make it a little bit better to fit on the map. We're going to apply. We're going to OK. And there you go. So that's your basic adding a database, uh, PostGIS database, to QGIS. So let's go ahead and file, save this. So we're going to save project. And we're going to call it, uh, I don't know, units. How about that? All right. So that's it for this video.